My first comic book I want to talk about is My Bloodshot, number one. And this is, if you notice, this has blood, this, this has uh, no, nothing on the, uh, the front. It doesn't have bloodshot, you know, um, in the middle of the cover. Anything's completely white. No gloss, no, none of the chromium is on the cover. That's an error. And there's not many of these. I don't know how many out there. I don't even know if there's 10 of them out there. And there could be more, but I know graded. So just cause there might be a few more of them out there. If they're graded and there's not that many, that's rare. So, you know, I don't know how much this would actually be worth. It might not be worth a whole lot. And then to some people it might be. That's what I like to collect because she can afford it. And who knows, you find a serious collector, it could be valuable to them. That's what I concentrate on when I collect comics, since I'm not what you call a rich person. But that's one of my, one of my first comics I'm going to show you. If you notice, though, look, it's completely blank, and it's got a custom label on it. See, it even says it, manufactured without the uh, chromium on cover. I think that's a pretty cool comic book right there. And you know, as you can see... Like I said, I'm more I'm a CGC collector more than I am regular comics. I do have regular comics too with errors. But that's just this ain't my double cover comics. This is just my error comics. But let me find another interesting hang on, I'll go through these. Uh, let's see if I can find that one I'm looking for. Give me a second. I'm going through. I know this is probably a boring part right here. Like I said, I'm you up making these videos. I'll, I'll be clear. There, here's another one I love. I love this one right here. So it's kind of similar to the other one. So this is. So I never understood why this one right here on Blood um, Shot Number One, why this is a universal grade because it's manufactured error, but. You see, but this is a one similar to this is a Batman 95. It was a it's a newer Batman series. It was this one was uh, September 20th was when this was published. And look, if you notice anything about the cover, it is completely white. There's nothing on the cover at all, no borders, anything. Look at the back of that. That is awesome. And and last time I checked. This is the last, this is the only one CGC has on this record. So this might be a rare comic book, and you know, my God, I don't know if it's worth, thing is, I don't know how much it's worth. It could be worth a lot, but it's awesome though. Be the only one having one of these graded. And I don't think there's too many out there in a while, even though it's not graded. And another comic, let's go look through some more. I'll tell you something I got, which, really not that rare if you look at this i know i didn't ever take the paper out when i ordered this comic but this is a uh, teenage mutant ninja turtle uh, volume 2 number 13 this is one that's got the reverse cover and they was supposedly at first there weren't that many out there but if you notice the cover is backwards well, is this is this backwards is this it was printed backwards so if you go to go collect it used to be Kind of what you call, kind of not many of them out there, less than a thousand, but they're popping up everywhere on eBay now. And that's really, I guess, what got me started in collecting these. Well, no, actually, Dazzler, you know, the Dazzler one started got me collecting these rare comics. But uh, let's see how many of these I got. There's one. <laughs> Here's another one, which is a sign by Kevin Eastman. And I like to collect, and this is another reverse cover, but I like to collect, um, I try to get him when he, he draws a turtle, and sometimes he, he, he draws a splinter, and sometimes he draws shredder. But the turtle head's kind of more common when he signs, but I love getting his little art, a little bit of character is on there. And I have another one, of course, he's like, dang. This is what's cool, you don't see him sign a splinter too many times. There's a little uh, sketch of Splinter, and I thought that was awesome. I, I love collecting stuff like that. 
And here's another one that just has Kevin Eastman wrote on it. It doesn't even have, this is a 9.4 too. And <laughs> here's another one. It's like, dang, he's got a lot of, this is 9.4. This is, this is not signed, of course. So I, mean, I guess you can tell a lot of turtle uh, comics, but the, all these are reverse covers, which I don't think is that much rare, you know, as I thought. And also, there's another rarity on the comic. I mean, there's, a, you know, I, I, I probably said there's not more than 10 of them that's graded, and I don't know, I need to check. You can research it. This is Punish War, uh, War Journal. Number 30 is manufactured with the uh, cover inside out and backwards. So this is all, this is the inside of the cover just stapled on backwards. It's, it's not, it says backwards. It's, it's kind of cool, I think. Look at the back of it. This is inside out on the cover. That is so cool, man. Like I said, I got some rare ones. Here's a similar one. Um, this is one, uh, Legion of the Superheroes 296. Um, this is inside out and backwards. That is so cool. Man. And I don't know if you ever heard of the ferret. Uh, this is a Malibu, uh, comic company. You know, they went out of business. Um, this is ferret number one. And you say, what's so special about this? Here's another comic book that you would think would be a green label, which I like green labels because when it comes to errors, I want a green label so I can kind of find out how many are out there because it will show up. But when they're mixed in with other comics, they don't have a green label. You don't know on census how many of these out there. That's what's so hard to find out on these kind of not green labels. But if you'll notice, it says, that looks like a regular comic. I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't either. But right here on the edges, it was it was die it was die cut. It had a lot of humps right here. It's all cut out little jagged edges right here. That's what was special about that comp will be. See, it's not. And I don't know the if there's three or four of these on the mark. I don't think there's many of them out there. There's a lot of this comp book, but not a lot of this error. So I thought that was interesting. And there's a good many of these out there. This is six point well 8.5 excuse me and it's um how to draw teenage mutant ninja turtles number one and what happened is when is when they printed this out it says they they forgot to put they printed what the yellow ink it's all it's all printed without the yellow ink on cover there's no yellow and i thought this rare but there's a lot of these popping up too but this is signed by Eastman too. Let's see, where's the signature at? Right down here. No turtle head or anything, but that's still cool. I guess you can tell I like turtles too. But, uh, and here's another. I know this video might be boring to y'all. Like I said, I'm kind of new at it. This is Guardi Guardians of the Galaxy 53. You say, what's wrong with this one? Okay, we got a green label. And it says, manufacturer with a with the center wrap of x-men adventures volume two um number nine center four routes missing so some people might say well so what let me explain this again i kind of confused myself for a second what happened with this one is the, four, the center four wraps was uh, mixed up and put in there when the Gal Guardian of the Galaxy is number 53. This is X-Men Adventures. Four wraps, center wraps, are put in there with Gal Guardian of the Galaxy is 53. So it's two comic books in one that got mixed together. So I don't think there's many of these out there. So that is very, very rare. And this is a... Uh, uh, Another one, which should be a green label when they didn't do it. I don't understand why they, CGC does this stuff sometimes. Um, this is Fantastic Four, number 232. And it has, it's manufacturing with double interior. So it's manufactured with double inter interior. So it's got two books in one all mixed together. 
it's double a book with the cover on the outside. That is cool. I mean, you hear double covers, but not double books. And I thought that was cool. And you, it's, there's no way of checking what kind this is because it's not a green label, which I, like I said, I'm complaining. I, I don't understand that. That's crazy. All right, here's another green label, which like I said, you want, I want green labels on on errors because you can look them up now on a regular comic book. No, you don't want a green error on, on this your regular collection because that kind of hurts your value. But this tells you that you can look them up. All right, this is X-Men number 50. We've heard of X-Men number 50, cameo of Onslaught, which is a pretty popular character. Um, thing about this one, this is the speckled full edition, which that's normal. That's the that's edition they have. But this is this is cool because it's manufactured with the interior upside down. It's upside down. The interior is upside down. That is, that is so weird. So that's, I don't know how many, I don't think there's many of those out there. Which I guess I could do some research and I'm kind of being a little lazy not researching this. But And I don't know if you would call this an error. This is just something I'm going to throw in there. I guess you heard of, this is called Dead Rabbit. It's an image comics. Uh, this was actually signed by Gary Dugan, but you know when it's not CGC, it's going to get a green label too. And that's what hurts you when it's not, I said, oh, when you get the green label. But it has the certificate to prove that it was really signed by. But this is a recall because the trade, they, call it, they say it's a trademark and transmit, so they recall these. But there's a lot of them out there still. So I don't know how rare it is, but that's just throw it in there. And I think there's a good many of these out there, but still in there. But like I said, why didn't they make it a green label? This is Magnus, the Robo Fighter 57, um, which there's a lot of these on eBay. But this is an error. This is their edition. This is manufactured with the first four wraps and first four center wraps switched. They're out of order. They didn't had them stapled in wrong. So that's the error. I don't know. I don't. I still think there's not that many out there, but it's not. It might be. They could be a hundred, thousand. But still, if even if it's a thousand out there on these, some of these are not as rare as the ones I was showing you. It's still less than a lot of comp will run. So, like I said, it's pretty cheap to get these. You know. So that's. And. Throw in a little bonus thing right quick. I said, let me move this over a little bit. Oh yeah, I'll throw in a, <laughs> a bonus one right here. This is, which I have this put up, you know, in CGC graded, but it's a big thing and it won't fit in my <laughs> CGC boxes. It, I got one that's graded with a big CGC case, but this one's a, one that's not in the case. This is Superman Year One. And this one has a, this is an error, it has a lot of, uh, it's got a, it's, got, it's manufactured real, uh, upside down too. Um, and I think it's backwards. So this is, you sell all these. They're, I don't know how many is on census, but I think the one I got is not a green label, so you really can't tell how many they are. But this is cool. This is upside down and backwards. This is a big book here. But I, like I said, I got it in glass too, CGC, but... I just didn't feel like getting it out. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to do a part two on these videos. So I'll do a part two and you'll see the video uh, sometime next week. I'll send, I'll, I'll do another one. Then, then there'll be some future videos of double covers and triple covers and we'll have a, another discussion. But like I said, I'm sorry that, uh, you know, I'm not a, prepared as most people are on these things but thank you and i hope you enjoy bye